250 million people are affected in the world from hepatitis B, but standing right next to me is one of the leaders in seeking to combat the virus. This is James Saperstein, CEO of Contravere. James, thanks for joining me on such a cold day. Thanks for having me. I'm a New Yorker, so it's great to be here. All right, right on with that. Now, just to get our viewers locked and loaded, your company is a NASDAQ-listed list biopharma company. But what is your main focus? We are focusing specifically on hepatitis B. We have two compounds, TXL, which is in phase two development, and we have CR3, CRV431, which is coming next year into the clinic. Right now, we're doing preclinical development work. We'll get to the outlook for next year, but what differentiates you from other others in this industry since there's a lot of players in biopharma? Well, there's a lot of players in hepatitis B as well. Uh, I've been in infectious diseases for a very long time. I've been with big companies, small companies, and hepatitis B is the next frontier. We've resolved HIV, basically. If you stay on drugs for the rest of your life, you're going to pretty much be... Not have, not have to progress to AIDS. Hepatitis C also has a cure, and all of us are looking for the hepatitis B cure. So there's about 40 companies that are competing, and we're one. We're the only one that actually has two products that are, are going to be in the clinic next year. Wow. So can you fill us in on some of the progress you've had with this anti-HBV compound? Yes. Yeah, so our phase two product, we've tested against Gilead's product, its main product, Viriad, and we showed that we're just as effective but at a much lower dose. And we're gonna do some more clinical trials with it. We have a new formulation that's coming. Uh, we've just started it this year. We should have results early next quarter. And then the second product is a cyclophilin antagonist, which is the first in class, best in class. It's the first one we're testing in hepatitis B, and we're beating all the other companies to the clinic with that drug. Wow, first in class, that's, a, that's quite a title to say. But now that leads us to the next question, the last question, and the end of the year. So what is your outlook since it's only two months away? Well, we're going to try to get some more data out there to try to please our investors, and we're looking to uh, continue one of the ongoing trials we have, which is a safety trial in TXL, which we'll read out early next year and finish our formulation and finish this year off strong. Wow, that's some really interesting stuff. Well, thank you so much for your efforts and for joining us today to tell us all about it. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me.